Hi, good afternoon, everybody. Um, I'm just coming to you today because I want to, I'm not going to re-upload uh, this dream. I'm just going to tell it to you uh, today because I want to also make a plea to you. Um, okay, uh, you know, listen, time is running short. I have no idea. Okay, I'm not, I'm, I'm not setting a date. I'm not a date setter. I never have been a date setter. And um, there's a reason why these demonic attacks are coming on so strong and causing so much division and hatred and problems because the, it's amping up, okay? And the dam is going to burst soon, okay? I don't know what, if you're doing anything, if you're doing anything that you know is not what God wants you to do. If you are being disobedient to him, now is the time to fall into obedience, okay? I know I have taught, uh, I don't know how many, you know, I've got new subscribers again. I have just as many as I had before, before I deleted my videos. I don't know if the same people came back or just new people, I don't know, but okay. But listen, there is no once saved, always saved. That's why I had the dream where, you know, Jesus was not the Lord of my life, and he sent me to hell going to hell dream, okay? I thought that I was saved, okay? You know, I, I was doing all kinds of stuff, but I thought I was saved, and I thought it was okay to do whatever I wanted to because I accepted Jesus in my heart so I could live how I wanted. And that thinking, had I, had I died in my sin, I would have gone straight to hell. He showed me the dream, okay? Now, I'm here to beg you. I don't know how much time we have left, okay? I truly don't. None of us know. But can't you feel it? Can't you feel the evilness and wickedness just creeping up even more and more and more? It, the time's almost upon us, okay? You don't want to be left here. You don't want to be left here to suffer, suffer through tribulation, okay? You don't. Excuse me. You just want to be right with God. Okay, don't think that you said a prayer of salvation 20 years ago. You've been living your life however you want to, and now you've got a free ticket into heaven because it don't work that way. It just doesn't, folks. Okay? I pray for every last one of us. I pray for myself, my family, everybody, all of you, all of us. Okay? I ask that God renews our spirit every single day. Okay? Okay? We have to hold our thoughts captive, okay? The devil is constantly, every day, trying to put something in your head, make you think a certain way about this person or that person or think this or say this and that, okay? I'm just trying to tell you, we have to hold our thoughts captive. We are the ones that um, are going to have to answer for our sin, okay? And yes, we'll be forgiven of our sin if we turn from it, if we, if we repent. Repent means to turn from and do no more, Okay? And ask forgiveness, okay? Obedience is required. It's required, okay? You might look at my sweatshirt. I hate New York. The reason is because it's 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 so disgusting. The sin, the amount of sin that's there, it's everywhere. I know, but you know they they passed a law where it's perfectly fine to give birth to a baby full term and then turn around and kill it, abort it. They call it, okay. It's disgusting. So anyway, of course, God has to do his judgment. Of course, God has to destroy a nation like that, right? So anyway, I'm going to tell you about this dream. And um, I'm going to tell it to you rather than upload it because, I, first of all, I don't know even know if I still have it saved, but I'm just going to tell it to you because it is fixing to be winter time. And this was a snow event dream, okay? Now, uh... All right, so what it was was I was walking through uh, like what was what in my spirit. Now, I, I know these things because when I am in my dream, it was put in my spirit. This is what it was, okay? Because I've never been there, so I don't know. I've never, never seen it with my eyes in real life. Okay, so I'm walking through the Weather Channel corporate office, wherever that is. I don't know what city or town. I don't know nothing. Okay, so it's the um, corporate office. I'm walking through it. And as I'm walking through it, I can see like long, it's, it's a big office room. And there was lines and lines of computers. Like if you were in school or something and all the desks are lined up, 
okay, well, there were computers on all of these, not school desks, but they were like work desks, computers all lined up. And there was two feet of snow on every single computer. And I looked up and the roof was all caved in, a big massive hole in the roof while the snow fell in, okay? And then I started running. And I was running up these steps, these stairs. As I started running up these stairs, these demons kept trying to catch my ankles, trying to catch my feet. But they didn't catch me. I just kept running, running, running. I mean, I was running for my life, like running for my life for real. That's what it felt like. Okay, I got to the top of the stairs. And you know, like in in an airplane, there is an emergency door to get out. So there was one at the top of the stairs. Now, I wasn't in an airplane, but that's what it was, was like that. So I open the door, and I step out, and I shut the door behind me. And and what I stepped out onto, I was way, way, way up in the, way up. And the clouds that I was stepping on were that of uh, lamb's wool, white lamb's wool, Okay. So, uh, the demon, you know, nothing ever came back. Nothing opened that door and came back. Once I was up there, I was safe. I was safe. So that's a representation of Jesus Christ. Um, I escaped. Now, listen, I know in my spirit, I know because in my dream, you know, God puts it in my spirit what things are about. Okay, so I'm not saying it's this winter. I don't know. All I know is there is going to be a winter that comes up that is so horrific, so devastating, never to ever have happened before, probably will never happen again. This winter is, I don't mean this winter, this, in this dream, whatever winter time this was, it was so horrific that the weather channel it was not possible for them to even keep up with the amount of snow that was falling. They could not keep up with it. Okay. It was unreportable. Okay. Uh, They couldn't even make a report about it because they couldn't keep up with it. There was nothing going to be accurate about it. Okay. So, um, and, uh, wow, you know, it was something else. Um, so just take this prayer to the father and, uh, you don't want to be here for that. I, I really don't know if like me going up the steps and then I stepped out into the, you know, I was on the lamb's wool. If I had already escaped, if that was my escape, you know, I was taken to my safety, taken out of here because the demons were just like, they're trying to right now in real life, they're grabbing at my ankles. You know what I mean? They're grabbing at my ankles every day, but my safety is in Jesus Christ. Okay. And, and so is yours. If you accept Jesus Christ as your Savior, because there's no other way to heaven. None. Okay? Um, no other religion will get you there. No new age. Uh, no Nobody will get you there but Jesus Christ. And obedience. Obedience is required. Okay? So, um, I hope you take this message serious. This snow event is going to happen. This is not just... I mean, I'm telling you, it's going to happen. It's going to be so horrific. I can't even imagine the amount of people that are going to die. I can't even imagine. It's innumerable, I'm quite sure. So um, it's it's not going to be possible to live through things like that very well. I don't think at all. I don't even understand it, how anybody could. All right. Well, God bless you all, and I just wanted to tell you that in person rather than re-upload it. Okay. God bless you all. I love you, but more important, Jesus Christ loves you. Okay, come to him today. We may, I may not even live for that event. Okay, I could drop dead five seconds from now, literally, and so could you. So keep that in mind always. You're not promised. You're not promised no time here. You're promised the, the breath you're breathing now, that's what you got. And that breath that you're breathing, that breath is God's option. And your next breath is God's option as well. Okay? Don't take it for granted. Stay in obedience and stay in love. All right. Goodbye. Have a great day. God bless you.